Welcome to the fish tank. Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. Part three of the Archimedes screw build. And I think you guys are more than patient for this. It is time to put a housing around this. Uh, I'm going to go with a quick and simple one. Uh, just so I can hook a motor up to this and uh, get a result. See if this thing is actually going to uh, pump any kind of water. So I have two uh, quarter inch pieces of acrylic you saw there. I drilled a one and one sixteenth inch hole in them. And they're going to be a bearing for this just to spin in. Uh, just like I said, just as a guide, just to hold everything in place. Once, of course, everything else is uh, welded into place as well. And then I made a base plate, which those are going to attach to, and a cap. And that's it. That's all this is going to be. If I were to want to use this uh, for any kind of, like, an actual pump to supply something, uh, the top part would have to be done completely differently. It would have to be done to contain the water from going anywhere and then have one outlet where you can supply the water to, you know, whatever you want, whatever filter is, uh, this is going to work off of. But for now, all I need to do is take these two um, bearings and uh, weld them together and then start putting all this together. It's actually a really quite straightforward uh, assembly, but it, you know, it needs to be done uh, quite accurately because even though I did allow for a little extra in the way of room, uh, sort of tolerances, I guess we'll call it, uh, in the build, it still has to spin evenly inside there or it's just it's going to wobble uh, uh i think the proper term for it is cavitation if you have uh, too much of a vibration in something that's moving around with water and it's not a good thing because this is not going to be that secure i mean they are being welded i mean this thing here obviously isn't going to come apart but those little legs where the uh, cylinder is going to rest on and be welded to uh, that is not as thick so you could end up with this not working properly. So uh, I need to make sure it's uh, done properly. That said, <laughs> uh, this offcut, this uh, piece of acrylic that I'm using here is just that. It was just a piece that I bought quite some time ago from my supplier. And it's just a saw cut. And you can see the rough edges on it. And... Well, I figured, well, it should be good enough to just sit on these legs. So I went through the process of just initially trying to just to glue it on as is. And you'll see by the end of this clip, it's not off by much. I mean, it was cut on a, a blade, and the blade was set to 90 degrees. But it is a saw blade. It's not a lathe. It's not a milling machine. So that is the, the thing. And I watch here, and I'm starting to wiggle my hand back and forth, and I'm realizing that there is enough give in this that you can't weld. I mean, acrylic is very finicky when it comes to stuff like that. You have to be very precise in your cuts. So that's how easy that is to come off. I'm going to take uh, that piece, the, the tube, I'm going to run it through the lathe, but I'm only going to just trim it down so that all the sides are even. I'm not going to bother polishing it or anything. And also I'm going to take those two uh, caps and I'm going to clamp them into place in the saw slit and Make sure they're all set at 90 as well. And you can see now that all the wobble is gone. And that's ne what you, what's necessary. That's the level you have to get to with this sort of thing to get a firm grip on these things. Because otherwise, they just, uh, any kind of, what happens is, is the methylene chloride wicks into the joint and then forms a weld between the two sides. And if you watch here, this time, as you can see, you can see the, uh, the actual liquid going in and, when that happens, then, then you know things are the, done properly. So I, I left that clip in there just to show you that. It's uh, one of those things that are fine details that unfortunately you just can't get away with. If this was glass and you were silicone them together, you can have a gap of <laughs> much larger than this. I mean, I can get away with one eighth inch sometimes in certain builds. So yeah, that's as simple as that is. I'm going to put this in here. And then we're going to slide that on top. I'm going to give it a quick spin just to make sure it all fits. And then the, the, the most finicky part is, of course, attaching the top and so making sure it matches up at the bottom. The bushing there, or the bearing, I should say, is uh, going to be left to last because that is the one I can do the fine, a little bit of fine adjustments by moving it back and forth. I'm doing a little bit of that right now. And that will allow me to take up any kind of 
um, small differences if I didn't quite get everything exactly where it needs to be. Because at this point, if this doesn't work, I'd have to break the bottom and the top off, <coughs> and then run the cylinder through the lathe again, and then start all over. And I just don't want to do that, so it's best to take a little bit of extra time now and get it done properly. So I'm going to take a few minutes to do this, and then we're going to pop the top on here. And I've also adjusted the top for height. Uh, initially, it was just uh, put on, I mean, made them both the same, because I knew I can just quickly adjust it afterwards, and you can see now that the top is sticking out sufficiently. And the other thing I want, uh, again, as we do this, as I'm uh, gluing these together, is just watch how the weld glue uh, wicks through. It's actually... Uh, much easier to see now because you're not looking through, you know, six inches of acrylic. And it does actually uh, show the difference between before and after. So I'm going to do a quick weld here. The other thing I want to mention is this should be run off of uh, an electric motor. Uh, or, I mean, some of the ones done, obviously, in ancient times uh, were hand-cranked. Uh, it's not necessarily meant to be run at high, uh, at high RPMs. Uh, it's uh, usually something that can be like I said, uh, worked by hand, uh, but I have uh, <laughs> no motors at the moment that I can uh, take and use this with. So I am going to uh, make a, uh, a fitting for this and I'm going to run it off my drill. Now obviously a drill can work at much higher RPMs than uh, Archimedes screws were originally uh, designed for, uh, but I'm going to try and set it for the lowest uh, setting I can and then we'll give it uh, a quick test and see if it actually will pump at you know the proper RPM. It's not like this. I mean, this is a little too slow, but it should be you know maybe about four or five times that it should work perfectly well. So I, this is the bottom uh, bearing I'm doing now, and we're going to give it quick adjustments here and testing, making sure that there's still plenty of play. And as you can see, it spins really well. Uh, there's no real issues with this at all, and then it's just a simple matter. After the first one's done, I was just making sure that, you know, get the whole thing anchored properly. So there you go, it's anchored to the bottom now. I'm going to flip it all the way over. Uh, first, I'm going to let it a uh, little bit seep all the way through to the inside, so I want to make sure that dry. I didn't want to weld the, the axle to the bottom of it. That would kind of inhibit its ability to turn. So that's going to ensure that the top's done properly, and then that's it. It's pretty much ready to go now. I'm just going to flip it over on its side here shortly, just to let you have a look at it on its uh, finished form. And then I need to make uh, the bear, the bushing for the attaching to the uh, my drill. There you go. That's pretty much the angle I want to work at. And as you can see, it uh, spins quite freely, uh, so that's good. And now it's just a simple matter of uh, testing this thing out. I'm actually getting quite anxious myself. It was kind of funny. I left this part in here because I wanted to show you this is how I actually, um, every time I go to take a new shot now, I have to turn the camera on first, uh, have it set in the right frame, and then put it up in its bracket. Otherwise, it, it films in the wrong angle. So this is Delrin. It is the same diameter as that piece of pipe. I'm going to cut a chunk off, and there you go. This is all I need to do. This is a solid friction fit. There's no weld going to be done to this. I, again, I will have to take this apart at some time uh, when I get access to uh, more materials. And then I'm just going to hook it up to the drill uh, after I drift that in there, and we're going to get it to work. That's the whole build. And now it's just the testing left. And this is actually kind of interesting. I, when I turned it on... Um, I was actually kind of surprised to tell you the truth, but you'll see for yourself here in a second. So this is just barely touching uh, the on switch here, just getting it to go a little bit. And I wanted to try to just barely having it go. It took, it takes a few seconds to get uh, the right depth, but you can see, there you go, it's pumping water. And that was kind of cool. I said, well, that's nice. I'm glad to see it works. So I said, well, why don't we try just a slightly, like, just a little bit more juice to the drill. And <laughs> this is nowhere near what the drill can do. At most, during this whole thing, I have the drill at half RPM. 
So it's never anywhere near the full RPM it can do. So apparently Archimedes screws really work well. <laughs> I mean, I was actually quite impressed with this. So I'm going to show you just a little bit more of this. Uh, this is pretty much the end of the video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like this style of video, please like and or subscribe. Definitely leave lots of comments. And let me know what you think of this. And again, as I said earlier, if I wanted to make the water that's coming out of this of practical use, I would have to change the top housing and make it so that the water goes in one specific direction and not in four. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video and bye for now.